I'm embarrassed to say this. I have a problem and I want it to come clean. I, re I really want it to come clean. I wanted to, you know, face my demons and come clean. I have an addiction. I'm gonna go back, I'm, I'm gonna bring it back. Shoot, just an, an hour ago, right? I'm watching this video. There's a video of this guy in the UK and he changed his diet from healthy to unhealthy. In a span of 30 days, his hormones, the, the hunger hormones, I don't know what it is because I'm not a scientist, but the hunger hormones in that 30 days went up 30%. The reward hungry hormone, they don't know how it works, can't give me the scientific research behind it, went up 30% in those 30 days. It's 1% every 30 days. I've been at this addiction Addiction is sugar, junk food, candy. I've been at this addiction for 19 years. Ever since I was a child, I would go to the store. Back when inflation wasn't a thing, come back, whole bag of candy. Ooh, deliciousness. Ooh, just pack, just pack, just pack. Airheads, Skittles. It don't matter. I'm eating it. And I'm eating it. I'm enjoying it like I ain't never had a meal in my life. I ain't wondering. Oh, it's not that bad. This junk food's not that bad. Not destroying yet. Yes, it is. I'm gonna show you guys, here's proof. Now, excuse my sweater that I had in there. Look at that, junk food. Ooh. The smell of these will make a dictator cry. Ooh, look at that, Airhead Extremes. I'm gonna just keep bringing it out to show you guys how bad it is. Sour Patch Kids, ooh. Oh, I know you love your grandma, but she love your grandma cookies. Oh yeah, yes sir. It just keeps getting worse. She got Twix. And sometimes, all this, I ain't gonna pull everything out of the trash can, but all this will be in one sitting. Now think about it. The daily recommended calories is like 2,500. This right here, calories per pack, 220. Let's see what this is. Per package, 320. That's already like 500 calories. See, you throwing a little twitch. That's 250. That's 750 calories. 120 calories per nine pieces. I don't even know how many pieces in here. Could I just be eating them? The delicious. Cause they be like per serving, and that's how many you're supposed to eat. But when, when you when that one when that one piece of candy when that one piece of sugar hit your mouth, when it hit your mouth, ooh. It takes you to a place, a place that's in the holy book. It's like heaven, you close your eyes for a second, you're in straight bliss. So my challenge for myself, and to show you guys that it's possible because I actually do have an addiction, but I know, I don't know, but I hope that I can go cold turkey because this is ridiculous. This whole bag is literally candy and a sweater. It's a little old sweater. And I wanna show you guys my physique. I've been going to the gym religiously about I would say two years. And when I mean religiously, like I probably, I, I, be, I skip a couple days, a couple days out of year. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I ain't gonna say I was there every day. But when, when you see stuff like this, when you see that, you see the peak, the rise of it, the horizon, it's like when the sun rises, you know? You know what, let's go ahead and take the, the pump cover off. This is me. You got the, got the abs. But look at this. You know what this is from? Not eating healthy. I'm mad at myself because I could have a better physique than it. I've been going two years to the gym. And for what? To stay healthy, I'm not even eating healthy. It's ridiculous. The only thing that I'll say is I have an undeniable urge to get some sugar in my mouth. But today, it's day one. Today, all this stops. I'm cutting out all snacks, all junk foods. I'm not eating the cookies, the cakes, the creams. When I go, I'm gonna just eat the meats. Pause. The vegetables, the rices, the biscuits, but other than that, and when I mean biscuits, I mean like, mm, just smile, just think about it. But today is day one, and I just wanted to show you guys that it's possible for me, for me to do this, because anyone else that's struggling with junk food addiction knows, ooh, ooh, what's the point? Like, we're all gonna die anyway. Why would I wanna stop eating junk food? When that diabetes kick in, and your neck start turning all black, and your your foot need to be amputated. I enjoy walking. I don't want my neck black. Got that smooth caramel skin. I wouldn't want to ruin it. They don't tell you that in the health books. They don't tell you how dangerous sugar is. They don't tell you how dangerous fructose corn syrups are. They taste delicious. Doesn't seem dangerous. First high, you see that? Oh, oh my God, bro. I'm just thinking about it. You go on, go on the store, Kroger's. 
just imagine the aisle. You're like, wait, what? Well, they just got so many candies. They got a whole chocolate section now. Oh, dark chocolate, mixed chocolate, white chocolate, black chocolate, Asian chocolate. It don't matter. All types of chocolate. And then you get to the yummies, the colorful selection, the Skittles, the Gobstoppers, the, the Trollies, the Sour Patches, the Airheads. Ooh, the Airheads. Mm. It all has to stop. And it stops now. Day one. Day one. All right. Today is March 11th, day one of this challenge. And I wouldn't necessarily call it day one because I've slowly been like cutting out junk food, but this is like day one of me actually cutting out junk food. Like actually, 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 like it's gone, it's out of my life, like it's in the past. And it's uh, currently 7 a.m., time for breakfast. I'm gonna go get some food. And I'm gonna try to ignore all the honey buns and the, the muffins and the cookies that they got out because they got a whole line of it. It's like, and it, you know what's crazy about it? It's right before you get to the food, the actual food. Like, you know what? Why don't you dabble a little bit of sweets before you get that nutrition in your body? And I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll do it. But not anymore because I'm challenging myself. This is for me. For me. If it got if it got a colorful package on it, or it look good, it look too good, it's pleasing to the eye. You looking at it, it looking at you, it's out. I'm cutting it out. Day one. Now I'm gonna show you guys what I'm dabbling in today. What I'm having for breakfast. And usually. I have about one meal per day. One meal. One meal. That's all I got. That's all I got. Yeah. So we working with today. Got the eggs, the sausages. Thank you. You got your fruits and vegetables. I mean fruits. You come around. Show them how I'm coming. You got the toast. You got the... That's beef, not pork. Mind your business. Ooh, glistening eggs and the biscuit. what I say about the biscuit? Mm, my fruits. It's how I'm coming every morning. Currently at work. You see my face? Do I look happy? I ain't had sugar in a minute. Like my gut is rumbling. It's like, yo, where the sugar at? And I don't have any, cause I'm not getting any because this is a challenge and I'm gonna challenge myself. And I, I love this challenge so much. Like I love going days without sugar. So so wonderful like the feeling in my chest Woo, love it hola como estas you got the burritos i mean never mind this is how i'm coming day two day three of the challenge um it's like 5 41 in the morning and i was craving some snacks so i got mixed nuts paws and then some Omega-3 Nuts Paws. I was thinking about going to the store and getting some snacks, but I, I literally went to McDonald's in the parking lot and then drove back to the dorms because I was like, no, we're not gonna eat anything unhealthy. Got some nuts. Paws. That's day three. Day four, March 14th, we really doing this challenge. I got 26 more days of this challenge. And honestly, I couldn't be more excited. And I wish I was being sarcastic, but I feel like when you can control something that was a part of your life and take that out and actually control not doing it again, it makes you feel like you're in control of your whole life as a whole. Cause like I said before, like my diet was like, 40% real food, 70% junk food. I don't know the math. I was never really calculating. I was just eating it. But when I tell you, I actually feel, I, I and this, this is the thing about the challenge. I could have went out and went to the grocery store or the convenience store or the vending machine downstairs and got some snacks and ate it. And y'all wouldn't know, but I'm doing this for me. Everybody around you could tell you, hey, you have a problem, you need to quit. But if you, you don't see that you have a problem, that you're never gonna want it for yourself. And I saw that it's a problem because like I said before, I'm going to the gym. What's the point of going to the gym to build muscle, but also not eat, eating healthy? It's, it's pointless. I don't know if it's placebo or not, but I have noticed that like, 
my stomach has been a little less bloated because I've been eating less junk food and I've been eating like actual food that I feel like has substance for me, like nutrients and all that stuff. Like, I don't know. I can kind of see my bottom half because I have the four pack and then I have the large pack right there. And I've been trying to slim down this area of fat. And I know that's not gonna happen if I keep dabbling in junk food. After this 30 day challenge, I'm 100% sure I'm gonna continue this for probably the rest of my life because there's no actual benefits to sugar at all. There's no benefits to junk food except self-pleasure. And I'm trying to control that part of myself because honestly, I don't wanna have any health problems later on in my life. I've been implemented a plan. Never eat unhealthy. Stick to chicken, rice, vegetables, fruits. What's also been helping me a lot is fruit. In day four, it's not that bad. I'm gonna continue on and we're gonna see how this goes. All right, so this is how we come in today. You got the chicken with the rice and then you got the, uh, the mystery meat <laughs> with the vegetables. <laughs> Uh, I broke the system. I think I might go anorexic with this magical thought that I had earlier. I was sitting down and we have a Chick-fil-A downstairs and I was just like, oh, I could really get a Oreo shake. And my brain was giving me every excuse like, this world's not candy, it's not junk food, you can go get it. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. But I realized something. The reason I've been having cravings is because I've been bored. When my mind is occupied, I'm never, I'm usually never hungry. But when I have nothing to do, I'm like, okay, let's go get a snack. So I realized in order to not be hungry, always occupy your mind with something different. I'm out of the matrix at this point. But no, nah, seriously, today's day six. I skipped day five, wasn't really that interesting. Didn't really have an update, but it's going pretty good. Not gonna lie, cravings have went down except when I'm bored, I'll be like, oh, I need a snack. And my, my brain will literally give me every excuse to get one it's just like you can do it off camera nobody's gonna see you and i'm just like nah bro this is for you but day six never be bored ever always occupy your mind with something so i don't eat snacks here would be day 17. there was eggs a biscuit and tater tots it's gone now today I decided to get two meals. Day 17, I'm coming. Mix the mac and cheese with the chicken. It's delicious. And I got the sugar. <laughs> day 21. Okay, so it is day 21 of this challenge. And let me tell you something about this challenge that I didn't know would happen. It gets easier. At the beginning, it's hard. It's, like, it's a little hard, but Throughout the whole process, it's been getting easier and easier and easier. Like I'm actively making healthier choices because I set myself to this goal. And when you have a goal in your mind, I'm not trying to turn this to a motivational speech or whatever, but I'm trying to give y'all some knowledge. When you have a goal in mind and you want it, you gotta want it. I promise you, the first week or so is gonna be hardest. Once you get past that, your brain's like, okay, we're, we're, we're doing this. We're actually doing this. And this is what I was been with junk food and candy and all that stuff. I just haven't had the urge anymore. And I'm glad that I took this challenge on because I didn't really think I could do it, to be honest, but it's going great. I, I promise y'all, put your mind to something, you accomplish anything. For me, it, it, you start with the little goals, you realize you can do those, then you're on the bigger things, like, bigger things. Day 22, oh, look at it, it's beautiful. It's breakfast, the only meal I'm gonna have today. It looks so good. All right, so it is day 27 of this challenge, and when I tell you it has gone by super fast, it's low-key kind of scary, because I'm like, damn, time going by kind of fast. But anyways, day 27, I'm feeling great. Gut health feeling great. Everything feels great. I feel healthier. I genuinely feel like I'm in control of my actions and what I'm doing in my life, just from a simple little, little twist, a little turnaround, a little 180 in life. But when I tell you the best way to get rid of those urges is just replace those urges. Like anytime you want candy, go get fruits. Like fruits taste just as good. They have that sweetness to it. And you're not getting those dangerous chemicals that they put in sugar and all the junk foods and stuff. That's what I've been doing. Anytime I'm like, oh, dude, I need to go get some, some candy or sugar or whatever. I'll go make a smoothie or get a smoothie or I'll just eat some fruits. As simple as that. I've been feeling great, you know, living great. That's it for day 27. Would you look at Manny? Did he do it? He did it. He really did it. It's day what? 
day 29 of the challenge. And guess what? I did it. It's day 29. I'm really out here doing what I said I was going to do. I'm a man of the word. I'm a man of the hour. Matter of fact, I need a celebration. Where the confetti at? Today is day 29 of the challenge. I'm not going to day 30. I am going to day 30 in the challenge, but I'm not recording because I'm going to be busy. But I'm going to give you guys six main benefits that I saw personally. You might not see it, but you got to try it. You might see it. You know, I'm just saying these are personal. So don't expect anything crazy to happen to you. But it happened to me. Number one on the list has to be my energy levels have been consistent throughout the day. Usually I would have weird energy levels. I don't know how to explain it, but after day 14, I've been, I had energy throughout the whole day. Usually I, it wouldn't fluctuate. It wouldn't fluctuate. It'd always be like this. And I was on a steady plane, you know, X and Y, you know, actually whatever. Number two, my stomach hasn't been bloated. I haven't had stomach pain. I used to get like a little pain, a little burning sensation right there. It doesn't happen anymore. Number three, number three, number three on the list. My weight went down. I started this uh, challenge at 178. I'm at 167, 167, 167. Number four on the list. I'm in control of the decisions that I make. Any decision that I make since I've started this challenge has been towards my health. Now that's not a direct effect from not eating sugar, but I mean like mentally, I guess so. Number five, I skin bit, skin been clear as day. I haven't had any acne whatsoever. Skin been clear, it's like a baby's butt. Unless you pet it out, don't touch it. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. It is like a baby's butt, it's smooth. It's, don't put your hand on your face, you might leave a, a little grime and dirt, then you might get acne. But I ain't got it, cause I ain't sugar. Now, number six, like I said, this might not be a direct cause and effect of not eating sugar, but I'm making healthier choices every day towards just being a healthier person because honestly, I don't wanna die of disease. And most of the stuff that comes from disease comes from not eating healthy. Most of these is. Now there are some that's hereditary, but most of them come from the American diet. And I'm trying to change that. I'm trying to make sure that I, I'm not in the hospital bed at 30, OB, wishing that I never ate that chocolate cake that one day and kept going and going. But anyways, that's it for the challenge. Just know that if you do put yourself through this type of challenge, the first two weeks are gonna be the hardest. They're gonna be the hardest, the urges are gonna come in, you're, you want, you're gonna wanna break them. But don't break it because once you get to that, like that point, you're gonna be like, there's no point in breaking it. I'm already this far. If I can make it this far, I can go, I can go farther. I can go farther. I'm the best man out there. But that's it for the challenge. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. Look at Manny. Only do it. <laughs> Only do it.